Okay, so today we're going to be making enchiladas and I am going to show you the uh, preparation or the ingredients that I already have set up for us. Um, so we are going to need, let me show you, see if you guys can see it. We're going to need um, this ones, which are chiles guajillo. They look like this, okay? So I have, I think, how many I have? One, two, three, four. You can have anywhere between six to eight, depending on how much sauce you wanna make and how many uh, enchiladas you're planning to make today. I need the tortillas, so let me get the tortillas really quickly. Here they are. So I have my tortillas. Okay, so we're gonna need our tortillas and they're corn tortillas. And then, so we have the chiles guajillos. Then we also gonna need lettuce at the end to put on top of the enchiladas. We're gonna need cheese, okay? And you wanna get grated cheese so that it melts inside and outside. Um, then we also gonna need for outside, we're gonna need a tomato. So I'm gonna put it here on the cutting board cause I'm gonna come back to it and cut it later. We're also gonna need onion. It's really yummy when you put onion, that is um, when you add some lemon and salt to it. So I'm also gonna put the salt here cause we're gonna need salt. And I'm also gonna need one clove of garlic. Um, if, it, if you have smoked garlics at home, then you wanna use two. It's just good for the flavor. So right now for the first step, I'm gonna need the chiles, and I'm gonna need the tortillas, the garlic, the salt, and I'm gonna need, also need oil. So I'm gonna bring you to my stove, and in my stove, I will need um, a saute pan, and I'm gonna need this so I can boil the, um, the guajillo peppers. Okay, so let me bring you guys over here. Okay. So I'm going to begin um, by prepping this water so I can boil the chiles, guajillo. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna add uh, maybe like one fourth of water to my pan. And I'm gonna start the fire, medium heat, okay. A little bit, a little bit higher than medium, like medium high, just so it started boiling. And then I'm going to take um, the guajillo peppers over here and I'm gonna start cleaning them. Okay, before I add them to the, um, to the boiling water. So you, the way you clean them is you take this off, you open them up, and you take out the seeds from the inside. Let's see, make sure that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, there it is. So I like to open them and then take out the seeds. Okay. Okay, that's my first one. And I do that same thing with each of my peppers or my guajillo pepper. And you can find this in any Mexican store. Uh, this is gonna help us to make the salsa. Clearly some people um, buy the salsa for the enchiladas already pre-made, but I like to make it myself. So that's why I'm doing it from scratch. And it's very simple, it's not difficult at all. You just need the pepper. Um, you can get guajillo, uh, or you can also get Nuevo Mexico. They also call Nuevo Mexico. So as long as they're this type of peppers that can add color to your sauce, um, that's what's important. And we want to clean, right, the seeds from the inside. In the meantime, your water is getting ready. You want that water to be boiling. Okay. Today we're going to be making um, cheese enchiladas, but if you have chicken at home um, that's already pre-made, like it's already cooked, 
you can definitely add it to your inside of your enchilada and you can have chicken enchilada. So it's the same thing, um, pretty much the same process, just you change the inside. But today I am going to do cheese for us. So that's it, you continue cleaning the peppers. Right, and you can see, right, that I'm taking all the seed out as best as I can. Just continue doing that. beautiful day outside except that it's a little windy but it's beautiful outside okay I'm almost done here the water's starting to get ready it's almost boiling it's getting there Good. Almost done here. And I have the last one. I like to make plenty of sauce because my kids love enchiladas. And I just like to have extra just in case I want to make more. Because once we have the sauce ready, then it's they're pretty easy to make. And then you have all the other ingredients ready. Okay, so I'm gonna toss this in the garbage can. And, okay. I'm gonna grab the clean peppers and I'm going to wash them. Okay, now I'm going to come back to the stove and check how we're doing with our water, which is ready. So I'm going to add the peppers. Okay. Make sure they're covered by the water. And then I'm going to put the lid on top. And I'm gonna put a timer, I'm gonna put 10 minutes and that should be enough. I'm gonna lower the heat to medium. Okay. Uh, in the does the water need to be boiling before you add in the cheese? It's good, yeah. So make sure it's warm, make sure it's hot and make sure it's boiling when you add the cheese. yes. Okay. Okay. In the meantime, I'm gonna bring the tortillas, okay. I'm going to add also the oil to the other pan. I actually washed it, so it's a little wet. So I wanna dry it. Okay, now that it's dry, I'm gonna add the oil here. Okay, just a little bit, not too much. And I'll keep adding as I need. As I need it. Okay, so it's there, it's ready. So when my my sauce is ready, then I, I can get started with that. So my stove is already ready. I'm gonna come back to the other ingredients. Okay, so as you can see, let me see where I can put the computer. I'm going to put the computer right here. You guys can see. Yes, okay, so I have my cheese 
I have my lettuce for the at the end. And we have my cutting board over here. Oh, this other pepper that got lost. Okay. So I'm gonna work right now on the onion, the lemon, and I need also my tomato. So I'm gonna start cutting the tomato. Okay, and I'm going to do I'm gonna cut it like this. Okay, and not too thick. Some of you might not like tomato, but my family, we do like tomato. I know my daughter doesn't like it. So my son, my husband and I, we do like it. Oh, I'm gonna lower the heat on the pan. Okay, there it is, because it was boiling too much. So I lower the heat so it doesn't spill the water and the chili. Okay. So now I have my tomato ready. So I'm gonna put it right here next to the uh, lettuce. Okay, so that's where it is. And then now I'm gonna go on to the onion. Let me clean the dry outside of the onion. The other right too. Clean it. Okay. Now that it's clean, okay, I'm going to cut it also, same thing, like this. Try to make it thin, not too thick. Be careful, don't, don't cut yourself. So I have maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight pieces of onion like this. So I'm gonna add it here to this. And I noticed that it's kind of small. So I want it to be a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna grab a bigger um, container. I'm gonna use this one so that I can have the freedom to add, there it is, look at, it's better. This is a bigger container. And then I kind of try to separate the onion. And I'm going to add salt. Okay, there's the salt. And now I have to cut my lemon and add it to the onion. This is just gives a really good flavor when you're eating your um, your enchiladas. Just the flavor of the lemon and the onion is amazing. Okay. Uh, my sour cream that you can also add to the enchiladas, it's in the refrigerator, so um, of course, we don't want it to spoil, so we're gonna leave it in the refrigerator for the meantime. So we'll take it out at the end. Now we have our garlic. So we're gonna add our garlic to our blender. So go ahead and grab your blender, add your garlic. And we're gonna check on the chiles, how are they doing over there? So let's see. Okay, so it says that I still have four minutes. So I'm gonna mix it a little bit. I'm gonna mix the, um, the chiles guajillos. And they're actually almost ready, to be honest. Uh, how long should you have the chile guajillos inside the boiling water? Because I was gonna uh, you know, put it right now. Yeah, so I put on my timer 10 minutes but I just check right now and it's been like six minutes and they're ready. So I just mixed it a little bit. I noticed that they're soft and they actually change color to a lighter red. 
So when they're soft and they change colors to a lighter red, then that is your signal that they're ready. So as long okay. as they're soft, then they're ready to be blended. Okay? Okay, so, thank you. Yeah, so then I realized, okay, so it's ready. So I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm going to bring it over here. Okay, and I bring it over here and I'm gonna drain them. I'm gonna use the lid to drain it. Make sure you don't burn yourself. So I drain the water and then I'm gonna add them to the blender. So now they're in the blender with the garlic. Okay. And I'm gonna add water. So I would say half of the blender of water. So I'm gonna add the water. It depends on how many chiles you have. So you it's better to start with not so much too much water. Because you also don't want it to lose the salsa. So I'm gonna blend it right now. Okay, let me plug it to some powder. Okay, so then now that I see that it's pretty well blended, like you don't see a lot of pieces of the pepper anymore. Um, the next thing you have to do is go ahead and bring this sauce. And yeah, I have my tortillas here, but I wanna show you, I was originally gonna put my sauce here, but I'm actually using, gonna use this to, um, to actually make the enchiladas. So I'm gonna bring another pan so that I can actually um, add the sauce and then um, add the salt and just kind of add a little bit of oil. So let me bring another pan. So I'm gonna bring this one. I'm gonna start the heat. Did you add anything into the onions? Yes. Lemon and pepper. Okay, thank you. Mm. That was my timer for my peppers. Okay, turned it off. Okay, so I'm gonna use medium heat for this pan. I'm gonna start this one too. I'm, the one that I had oil, I had added oil. I'm gonna start that one too. This is gonna be for making my enchilada. And that's going to be medium heat as well. I'm going to grab a plate. Okay, I'm going to use a plate. I'm going to put it right here next to where I'm going to be making the enchiladas. Okay, and remember my sauce, right? So I'm going to wait until this pan is ready. Okay, barely getting started. So I'm going to wait for it to warm up. I still need to add salt to the salsa. So I'm gonna bring my salt. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this pan to heat up. I'm gonna take out the tortillas. Go ahead and take out your tortillas. Okay, so I can have them ready to just grab them from here. It's 
here. Okay, so I have my tortillas. I will also need this to flip your tortilla when you have it in the in the oil. And then I'm gonna need my cheese. So I will need my cheese. I'm gonna have it over here on the side as well. And I need my tray where I'm gonna put the, the, the enchiladas. Okay, so let's review. What do I have here next to me? Okay, I have a plate. So when I have the enchilada ready, I can just put it here. Then I have my cheese so I can add it inside, roll it. And then when I'm done, I need to put it on my tray. So that's why I have it here next to me. And then I also have this, so I, it can help me to flip the, the tortilla. And I also have my, my tortillas ready over here. Okay. This is ready, so I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. Okay, so just a little bit, maybe like a teaspoon or like a tablespoon. Okay, there it is, just a little bit just to give it a little bit of flavor to the salsa. Okay. So there it is, one tablespoon of oil. I'm gonna bring it over here to the sink because I don't want it to spill or like to splash me. And then I'm gonna add it. So the sauce is here. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this blender. Okay, to get the extra sauce that was there. And there it is. Okay. I need to add the salt, right? So we haven't added salt to it. So let me add the salt. I mix it really well. Okay. I mix it as best as I can. In the meantime, the other oil is getting la salsa? ¿Qué le pones? Yeah. Well, all, I, all I added was the garlic, the peppers, I blended it. Now in the pan, I added a little bit of oil. I added the sauce, right? And then now I just added salt, that's it. Okay. So again, in my blender, I added the peppers, the garlic, blended it really well. Then I added it here to the pan with a little bit of oil. And all I'm doing right now is just mixing it. Okay. And in the meantime, this is getting warmed up. Okay, so my salsa is ready. So I'm gonna lower it, I'm gonna lower the heat. So now I'm gonna grab my first tortilla, okay? I'm gonna grab the tortilla. I'm gonna be careful. I'm gonna add it in the salsa. And then I'm gonna add it to the oil. When I flip it, I'm actually going to use this, okay? I take it out of the oil. I put it on my plate, okay? I'm going to go on to the next one. Grab another tortilla, add it to the salsa, then put it in the oil. I have over here my towel to be able to clean my hands. Okay. 
Now this one rests on me because I flipped it too fast or maybe it's too much oil. So I'm gonna put it over here on the side. I think it's because it's too much oil. That's why it's not good to have way too much oil in the pan because then it, it rips. Okay, I'm gonna go on to the next one. There you go. There it is. This one that's already done, I'm going to add cheese to it and I can start rolling it. So I roll it and then I have it over here and I'm gonna put it on my tray, right? There it is. Okay, I'm gonna flip the other one. As careful as I can, hopefully it doesn't rip on me. Oh, it did it, so good. Okay, this other one that ripped, I have the choice of throwing it away or I can use it. So I'm gonna use it. And it's a mini enchilada. I'll use the other part. I still use it. And there it is. So it's a broken enchilada, but it still works. Okay, so this one's ready. I'm gonna take it out. Put it on the plate. Okay, let me move on to my next one. Grab my tortilla, put it in the sauce. So now if I'm gonna use an oven, this is a good time to get it heated, to start preheating the oven. So I'm gonna get it started and I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna start at 350, just so that it starts warming up. Okay, this uh, Do yeah. you dip it in the sauce first and then you put in the oil? Yes, that's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. There it is, another enchilada, ready. Okay, this one's ready to flip. So I'm gonna flip it to the other side. There it is. So today I'm just gonna use this tool or this, and I'm not gonna use this one because it didn't work. Okay, it's ready. So I'm gonna take it out. Okay, put it on the plate. Go on to the next one. Same process, and you just keep repeating it. There it is. And again, right, if you wanted to put um, chicken inside, you could, but today I'm putting um, only cheese. And there it is, one more. I want to show you what I got going over here. So uh, let me see if you can see. You can see it, right? So I have the first one, the second one that broke on me, and then the other two. Okay. So let me continue. This one's ready. And my oven is uh, preheating right now. So I'll be using the oven. Okay, there it is. Put the cheese on this one, roll it, and then put it over here. Okay, let me flip this one. You can see everything over here. Okay. There it is. Okay, next one. Okay, I put my cheese. And then I just grab it and roll it. And there's another one, and add it to my tray. 
There we go. Take it out. And add one more. Okay, continue. Add the cheese. Again, if I had chicken, I could be doing chicken. Next list is fun. On this tray, I probably have room for two more. So I'm gonna do this one, one more, and then I'm gonna add it, uh, add the cheese on top so that it melts, and then I'm gonna put it in the oven. Let's flip it to the other side. I'm going to turn off the stove right now because I'm just going to make this tray right now, but right now to show you. So I turn off everything in the stove except for the oven. So it's almost ready. It's preheating. Let me finish this one. I'm going to roll it. Okay. I want to show you how it looks like. Okay, so that's my tray, and this this tray is safe to put it in the uh, in the oven, or you can use it also in the microwave. So if you don't have an oven that works, then you can also put it in the microwave. So the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to add more cheese on the top so that it actually melts inside, right? So the, the cheese will be inside and outside. And I hope you guys enjoy this delicious dinner. And you can have lettuce on the top, tomato, onion, um, avocado, if you like. Um, you can also make a salad and put it on the side. Okay, so this is how it looks like. So now I'm gonna be, I'm gonna wait until my uh, oven is finishing preheating. Okay, but my tray is ready um, to be placed inside. Okay. Okay, there it is. So I am ready to put it inside. So I'm gonna open the oven and I'm gonna put it in here. So you wanna be careful not to burn yourself. So I put it in there. And after 10, 15 minutes, um, I'm gonna put the timer. Uh, I'm gonna put 10 minutes and then I'll check. And if everything is melted, 
then it's ready guys. And um, you just put your lettuce, you put your tomato, you put your onion, your sour cream, and oh my gosh, you'll have <laughs> a delicious dinner that you guys can enjoy, okay? Um, yes, it looks very tasty. It's very yummy. Um, you can never go wrong with tortilla uh, and cheese. <laughs> and, um, and again, you can put um, chicken inside and that's another option if you wanted to put chicken inside. Um, and with that, guys, um, basically we're just waiting for the chips to melt and then your dinner will be ready, okay? So I hope you guys try it. I hope you guys enjoy this delicious enchiladas, okay? <laughs>